What's up, you guys? It is Kind of Interviews. I'm your host. Just kidding. This is like a vlog style thing. I'm trying something new out today. I've never done a vlog before. This is kind of weird. I don't really like doing this, but we're going to try it out. So um, my buddies in Silent Planet and my buddy Anthony Gazelle, who's been on this channel before, um, they are working together to track drums for the new Silent Planet record, and they don't live too far away. So I am going to get my mask wherever the frick it is i'm gonna bring this bad boy and we're gonna go get some footy all right so it's gonna be kind of like bts style stuff see what alex is doing on the new record see if we can get some words from that guy and kind of show you a little bit of the recording process of an album so let's get to it hey guys my name is alex and i play drums for silent planet and uh this is the kit i'm using to record our fourth album and uh, it's, I'm using mostly SJC, actually all SJC. Um, it's what I use live. 13 inch, 16, and then a 20 inch, all SJC. And then the snares are 14 by six and a half, uh, hand hammered bronze. And then I'm using a DW kick, a 24 inch kick. It's kind of covered right now. All Remo heads. I'm using the X14 on the snare. Been a huge fan of it for a bit now. Pinstripe on all the toms. It's clear pinstripe is what I've used for a while now. I got a Power Stroke 3 on the kick. Clear. And yeah, that's about it for the drum side. All the cymbals are Zildjian. Um, I love these cymbals. I wasn't sure if it was 19 or 20. I normally use 20. But this is 19. Uh, hybrid and incredible and then we got a 22 inch special dry crash on this side we call this one the chash um, then we got a k sweet ride 23 inch and a dark thin crash 20 inch on my left and then for the recordings i'm using 15 inch custom special drives but i'm also kind of going back and forth between these and k uh, light hats, 16 inch light hats. The thing about drum tones is that, you know, Ali came in here with his special beaters. They were really cool and they feel great, but they weren't giving us the tone we wanted. So we switched back to 9,000 beaters with some spelts, you feel me? <laughs> Boom. And um, yeah, Chris made these homemade like mic covers. This blocks the bleed from the cymbals into the Tom snare, the Tom and snare mics. Uh, which is dope, and honestly, Chris is getting tones that are the best. So, shout I'm, out! I'm really, I'm really hyped. It's happening, uh, dude. This thing great. is massive. I know, bro. What the hell? I don't. It think sounds that... like a kick drum. Yeah, not much of a difference. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean it's a power stroke three on it, so we. Uh, we have the same head on the kick drum, same head. Jeez. Uh, but it's, this is a 24 and this is a uh, 20, I believe. So, yeah. These Love are the it. beaters. These are sick. I mean, these feel great. Uh, they just weren't getting, like, everything matters when, when you're finding tones and drums. Uh, every little thing matters. Like, I've tried drums before where, you know, for whatever reason, the sound of the hi-hat, we wanted, like, the bottom of the stick or whatever. So we, we've done all kinds of crazy mm -hmm. stuff. But Alex killed. He killed so hard. This new style of playing record is Fuego. top. Time to record some drums with this guy. Who is this guy? <laughs> Mr. Alex Camarena. Doing silent well, what are you doing there? Just getting my ears in. Getting some, uh, some tones today. Yeah, some prepping TV. Beautiful. Prepping that, the most important part. Most important the part. That part. Gives me all my powers. This is. The office on loop. <laughs> I knew it. The secret to good drum tones is having the office on in the background. Just hit everything once, and then that's a full record. Just, just copy pasta, right? Copy pasta. <laughs> copy pasta. You never heard that? Uh -uh. Huh? Copy pasta. Before. Copy pasta? <laughs> they don't, they don't know how to write it. Wow, dude. Squares. Is that a Reddit thing? Squares. I saw it season once. Sounds like a nerd thing. <laughs>
one of the funny things about filming a vlog is that I don't know how to film a vlog, and I just kind of stopped recording and didn't do an outro, didn't really show myself a whole lot, so I apologize for that. However, I hope you enjoyed this content. I hope you comment, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Hope you guys stick around. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. This is Kyle Interviews. Peace out.